Hi Aquarius, this is your March 2019 reading. Um, Aquarius, let's get started right away. Someone is feeling like you've shut them out. Somebody is feeling like you've wanted them to step away or you've wanted them to leave you alone. Whether this is an ex-partner or an ex-ex-partner, but somebody's feeling like you gave them the door. For some of you, uh, I'm feeling that you may feel that they gave you the door. Uh, I think it's quite the opposite. But I am feeling that somebody uh, is feeling like they're wanting to come towards you. And it could be an air sign as well. It could be a Libra or Gemini. But I am feeling that they're coming towards you uh, in one aspect. But at the same time, they're stepping back and reevaluating a situation. They're trying to figure out what move to make next. Somebody has been off and on maybe texting or viewing maybe your social media or viewing um, something that you had written in the previous or past. Uh, somebody is trying to hold you to something, whether it's an agreement that you had, whether you own something together, whether it was a car, an apartment, whatever that is, there's somebody who's wanting you to pay something or, or give something to them. I don't know if this is two different people or if this is the same person. I'm also feeling for Aquarius that there is going to be uh, the opportunity to review something, uh, go over something, and it feels like you're going to be able to prove your side, prove your case. Some of you, yes, I do feel like the Wheel of Fortune is here where... Um, Better things are coming. It's like a new spin on life. You're going to get um, a, a lot of uh, blessings or favors that you've asked or um, requests that you've made, maybe to the angels, uh, is going to come towards you. I do feel like right now somebody may be having a difficult time uh, letting go of something. Somebody is definitely trying to uh, hold on to something very tightly or feeling that something has a lot of value and you don't want to lose it. That could be a relationship. That could be a person who's very important in your life. Somebody else may be worrying about a custody situation or a custody battle, but I feel like it's going to go in your favor, so don't panic over that. Okay. I do feel like uh, there is definitely travel that is coming around you uh, for the month of March. I do feel something in my eye. I do feel like there is uh, travel that's going to take you to a new destination. Now, whether that's a vacation travel or whether this is you looking to move back to where you're from. So you may have went somewhere else to be with somebody and when that didn't work out, now you don't want to be there anymore and I feel like you're going to go back home. I keep hearing back home. So whatever that home means to you, that's where you're going to go. I do feel like that's going to happen quite soon. Somebody else may be leaving this country and going back to another country. So I feel like that's really a pos strong possibility. Um, I do feel like there's uh, something to compete with. Somebody's trying to compete or match something. Whether it's um, compete or match. So it could be a test. Somebody could be taking a very um, important test. Maybe it's a test to get a job. Maybe it's a test, an entrance exam to get into school, college, uh, to take a course. Uh, somebody may be also studying right now um, and cramming, cramming something. I feel like you're trying to match certain things up. Um, some of you may work in the fashion industry and you may be trying to match up different things together to create something new. Some of you definitely are very creative and designers and I feel like you're trying to create something new. So that's exciting. That's really exciting. Um, I feel like there are some of you too who do some painting or drawing because I keep seeing creativeness. So um, some of you may be writing a book. If you are writing a book, please push push to get that out. I do feel a lot of children's books around you still. Um, I am feeling like there is an extra. Something extra is coming to you. So whether it's somebody who's got a lot of extra, like too much talking, or um, there's extra coming maybe in a check that you're not expecting. It could be an extra bonus as well. Um, but I do feel a lot of it has to do with coins. So I think that's money. Um, I'm getting that there is something blackish whether it's a black car, whether it is, uh, it could be a black ring, like an onyx. Um, but I am feeling a piece, a piece of jewelry or a vehicle. 
piece of jewelry or a vehicle. Or if you lost a piece of jewelry, a ring or whatever, it could be in your car if your car is black. So if that makes sense to anybody. Where that came from, I don't know. I just say it. Okay, so um, somebody is going to start to feel speechless at some point in time. Somebody is going to approach you with a conversation during the month of March, and it is going to make you feel quite speechless. You're not going to know how to respond. You're not going to know what to answer. You're not going to know what to do. But I do feel like you are going to be able to make, uh, to access this 100 no, 360 degrees, meaning you're going to do something, turn it around. So whatever somebody says to you that takes you back, because that's what I feel like, it takes something, takes you back. But I feel like you become speechless. But at the same time, you're going to have time to think about it. And you're going to play something over in your mind. And then when that person goes to walk away, out of the blue, you're just going to come out with something. And I feel like you're going to do a 360. So whatever they, they did to you or said to you, you're going to flip it right back to them. So that's a good thing. Um, I do feel like there is somebody doing um, either Reiki with somebody or you're talking to a Reiki master or huh, master seems really strong unless you're dealing with a narcissist. So some of you could out there be dealing with a narcissist. Some of you could be doing yoga um, or, or Reiki. I do feel like uh, there is feuds going on. Some of this feuding feels like with a partner. Some feels like with a family member. Um, you know what? Look at the fish that you're frying and see if it's worth it. Okay, that's all I can tell you is look at the fish that you're frying and see if it's worth it. Because I don't think that this bullshit argument is worth not talking to a family member anymore. It's not worth avoiding somebody. It, stop it. Whoever's doing that, just stop it. You know what? Because if it's your sister, you love your sister. So, so stop it. Um, for some of you, it could be with a, a mother. So be careful. You only get one. Okay, so right or wrong, you only get one. Okay, the next thing I'm getting is that there is definitely going to be somebody who's saying I'm all in. Somebody is all in. Somebody's wanting to try. Somebody's wanting to give something a chance. Somebody's wanting to give something the opportunity or someone the opportunity. So somebody is definitely going to speak of I'm all in. You're going to hear those words exactly. Okay, for some of you. Um, somebody may be dealing with something that has to do with a fish tank. So if you're having an issue with a fish tank, where the hell is this stuff coming from, Graham? If you're having issues with a fish tank, um, with algae or something of that nature, or too many, too many snails, like, it seems like, you know what, be careful. Because my grandma said them snails multiply faster than rabbits. So if you get a snail, just get one or two. Don't get a whole bunch more. I even wouldn't get two. I'd get one. But anyway, she's saying somebody's having a lot of issues with a fish tank. And it could be even a saltwater fish tank. I don't know. Do snails live in a saltwater fish tank? I don't know. I, I don't have a fish tank. Anyway, I got a puppy. She's over there. I got a puppy. Anyway, um, somebody's uh, definitely focusing on story time. So it is really important for you to do that with your children. Uh, for those of you who have little ones, it feels like story time seems to be very adventurous. Please, please, please go to the library. I've told somebody else this before. Um, please go to the library and get the appropriate books for them to learn different things, whether it's diversity, whether it's learning how to compromise, whether it's learning how to love yourself. Start teaching your children young about loving themselves, okay? For some of you, I do feel like something feels like it's going to be impossible to do. Something feels like it's so far of a reach that you're like, are you crazy? I could never do that. Or I could never go there. Or I could never visit there. Or I could never live there. But it's not. It's absolutely not. Please stop putting restrictions on yourself, my grandmother said, and allow yourself to face your fears and go forward. Follow your heart. Okay? It, to explore all the different possibilities uh, and the adventures is, is very important and so much fun. You will be so glad once you do it, whatever that means for anybody. Somebody also is going to be dealing with an accountant very soon, whether you're having problems with your uh, taxes or issues with the property um, or something to do maybe with uh, a settlement, a inheritance, whatever the fact or problem may be, you're going to be dealing with an accountant, I feel, whoever that's for. Um, I also am feeling something in reference to burgers and french fries. Burgers and french fries, come on. Okay, so somebody's having something to do with burgers and french fries, but I feel like you're not cooking the meat well enough.
So do, please do not give your kids that red meat. Please just don't do it. Please, I know you might like it like that, but please don't do it to your children because their intestines, I'm hearing, cannot handle it. It is too much on them, and they can't fight the different bacteria and whatever goes on. So please uh, remember, um, you know, don't do not do that. Don't, don't give the kids nothing red. Make sure everything is cooked very, very well to the proper temperatures because they can get very, very sick with um, air, a bacteria that, that, that is only killed with the proper amount of heat and temperature and cooked to a certain degree. So please remember that. Um, for some of you, there is something about... Um, Christmas, something coming up this Christmas. Either somebody might be coming home from the service and they're coming home this Christmas, or uh, somebody is going to decide to go somewhere else for Christmas, but it feels like it is going to be timeless and limitless. So whatever that means for you, timeless and limitless, meaning that it's going to be amazing. It's, it's going to be an adventure. It's going to be exciting. And uh, at the same time, I don't feel like you'll have any limits. I feel like you'll feel as free as a bird. So 